here's something new I came up with. While I lived in Florida, a lot of things interesting happened to me. Some crazy stories that most people wouldn't believe, and some stories that are absolutely true. What I'm asking you to do is to hear my stories and tell me which one do you think is true and which one is fake? Which one is fact? And which one is fake? But here's the real question. Which one is real? They're all fucking interesting. Ah! God damn it. Episode one. Konnichiwa. While drinking one night in Florida, we decided to go to Buffalo Wild Wings. Great place. Um, and, uh, well, after a couple rounds of shots and wings and shots, uh, my buddy Dave was like, Hey, yo, I gotta go take a piss, yo. So we were like, okay, why are you telling us that? No big deal. So he gets up and he goes to take a piss. In the meantime, him from our table to the bathroom, he bumps into a dick. I only say he's a dick because I've heard the rest of the story. Anyways, he's there with his fat girlfriend. And the only reason why I say she's fat is because she's fucking fat. And uh, he bumps into my girlfriend and says, Hey, yo, you looking at my girlfriend? And Dave says, Uh, yeah. Turns out Dave likes fat girls. No big deal. Except for this dick was dating one of those fat girls. And uh, they started pushing each other. Hey yo, bro, be late to my girl. Dave was like, hey yo, she never liked you anyways. She was with me first. And they started fighting back and forth and shoving each other. And before the first punch was thrown, we broke it up. We said, hey Dave, it's not worth it to go to jail for this dick. It's not worth it at all. Just come back to our table. First take a piss. Because we don't want you to piss on our table. Take a piss first, then come back to our table. Then we'll enjoy the rest of the night by ourselves. So that's what Dave did. Or he pissed somewhere else besides our table. We don't know. But he took a piss. And then he came back to our table, and we ate our hot wings, and we took a couple more shots, and we left. And once you know it, uh, we left after that, and we went to City Walk. City Walk's at Universal, in case you don't know, in case you don't live in Florida. It's a nice place, a bunch of bars and clubs set up around Universal Studios and Island of Avengers. So, basically, we went there, and we started drinking margaritas, and fucking... Everything you can name. Hurricanes, fucking disasters, grenades. We were really wasted. Anyways, wouldn't you know it? Guess who we run into? The motherfucking dick with the motherfucking girlfriend. He was like, hey, yo, bro, at the restaurant, were you looking at my bitch? And he was like, uh, yeah. And he started shoving us and pushing us, and so we whooped his ass. Whooped his ass. Stop this fucking. Stomped him! Anyways, anyways, this bitch was like, Oh, please don't hurt my bad dude. please don't hurt him! Anyways, we whooped his ass. And security was like, Hey, yo, bro, you motherfuckers gotta get the fuck out of here! So we left. Because, well, after you whoop someone's ass, you gotta leave. That's the ride of the winner. Anyways, so we go home, we smoke blunt. We listen to some music. No big deal. We go to sleep. I go home the next day. Didn't hear nothing. No big deal. Next day? Nothing. Nothing. Didn't hear nothing. But three days later, I got a call from his mom. Hello? <laughs> Dave was shot. <laughs> uh, what? Dave was shot! He was shot in the left side of his chest! I was like, whoa, 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 what happened? Dave was shot in the left side of his chest at work! A little background story about Dave. He worked at a blockbuster on a strip mall in Florida. It was like a food line, ABC package store, blockbuster, Dollar Tree, a couple more stores I don't care to name because I don't 
fucking care. Anyways, he was shot in the parking lot at Blockbuster. And when did you know it? You know who fucking shot him? The fucking dick with his fucking fat girlfriend. Fucking shot him on the left side of his chest. Apparently, this fucking dick worked at the food lion down the street from his blockbuster where Dave worked at. They both got out off at 11. It was like, boom, fuck you. Bow. He shot him on the left side of his chest. I swear to God. Fucking Dave died later on. And me and my boy Barry that we're roommates in Florida got a tattoo to commemorate Dave and his fucking dick killing him here's the tattoo R.I.P. Dave one episode konnichiwa one night in Orlando me and my boy Juan were like Hey, yo, bro, you want to go smoke a blunt? He's like, absolutely. fucking lootly So we go fucking, uh, you know, go get the ingredients to smoke blunt. When we get back to the house, um, we're like, hey, yo, bro, I need my boy Roy with us. He was like, yeah, I know what you mean. Let's go get him. So we we left out of his house, we, or his apartment, his dorm, his fucking garage where he lived at. Anyways, we left there, and we went across campus to our boy Rory's house. And when we get there, Rory's crying. He's like, oh, dude, they fucking took Rory. They took Bertha. We are like, they took Bertha? Yeah, dude, they fucking took, they took Bertha, dude. Of course, me and Rory were confused at this minute because we're like, who the fuck is Bertha? What is he talking about? Rory's flipped his fucking lid. Anyways, turns out, we ask him who Bertha is. Uh, dude, who the fuck is Bertha? He's like, oh, Bertha's my bong, dude. Big Bertha. Whoa. So Bertha is your bong? Who took your bong? Uh, the cops took her, dude. The cops took Bertha. The cops took your bong? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Start over. What happened? So it, this is his description of what happened. So I was at my house. And I was drinking Jack Daniels. Shot for shot. No big deal. Allah. Allah. No big deal. Anyways, I was taking shots. You know, went outside on my balcony and I was like, you know what? I fucking hate this fence right here. I'm gonna kick it in. Or kick it out. Depends on which side you're standing. And the cops were like, arresting somebody downstairs and they looked up and they see me kicking my fucking shit out and they were like hey boy you all right you want me to come up there he's like fine come on up so they walked upstairs because that's what cops do they investigate situations so they came upstairs and they're like are you okay and he was like, yes, I'm perfectly all right. I'm just kicking out my banister because I fucking hate the world. So they came in and they investigated. They're like, hey, can you come in? So they let him in. They started searching his apartment. Didn't find nothing. Nothing's wrong. Till they opened up his closet. Yeah. What is this? They were like, <laughs> This Bertha! Please don't take it! Please don't take Bertha! So they started searching the couch. They found a bowl. 
Wouldn't you know the bowl was empty? Because I was out of weed. Because Roy was out of weed. That's what he told us. He was out of weed. That's the reason why his bowl was empty. Of course, makes perfect sense to me. But when they showed the bowl to him, it was full of weed. It was full. Underneath this couch was full of weed. So he took my shit. He walked right out the door. He said, hey, man, you can't take Bertha. He said, fuck you. We're the police. They took Bertha. And me and Roar, I mean, me and Warren were like, and me and Warren were like, uh, they stole your bong and they walked out? Yeah. And it was full of weed, dude. I could have smoked that. So what do they charge you with, dude? Like, what's the big deal? That's the thing. They just took my shit and left. And give me a ticket or nothing. They just stole part that fucking left. Kidnapping, dude. Kidnapping. Um, Roy, it's not a big deal, dude. Just call 911, man. And fucking dial them up. Beep, beep, beep. Hey, yo. Please take your emergency, please, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah. You took my shit, dude. And problem solved. They'll give you your shit back, dude. Yeah.